12 armed robberies, nine in less than an hour. We are tracking the spree downtown Thursday that's connected to other robberies Tuesday. Our chair Molina mapped them out as police issue a warning to the crowded downtown area this weekend. <laughs> nine robberies in an hour. We're talking about in a space. We're not talking about in the whole city. There were nine robberies in an hour in, in Chicago. Okay. We're talking about downtown. That just means like, that's terror. That's terror. And it connected to small Tuesday. Is this happening every day? And the police are out there. We've covered this. We've been covering this all the past few years. We 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 do more videos on Chicago than probably any other city on this channel. I don't know if I'm maybe I'm wrong. You know, I'm making so many videos, so maybe get in the comments and tell me what city do we cover the most on this channel. But um, wow. Like they upped the police, they had more no over no um days off, mandatory overtime, pulling detectives off of cases and using them as regular police, sitting in cars monitoring the streets. So the detectives aren't even working the cases, they're doing police work. All hands on deck. And it's still going on. And it seems to be getting worse. They're random and they're happening fast. We followed up on some of the locations where these armed robberies have happened with a downtown alderman telling us tonight staying vigilant just isn't enough. Hold on. I know you guys remember the story where I told you when they were selling people to keep their heads on a swivel. And, uh, you know... Don't don't be on your cell phone because you got to be aware of your surroundings. Don't be having conversations. If you're shopping, you know, make sure you know people might be following you back to your car. And you... Just always be, you know. Now we're hearing that that's not enough. Wow. They're random and they're happening fast. We followed up on some of the locations where these armed robberies have happened with a downtown alderman telling us tonight staying vigilant just isn't enough. We mapped out the 12 armed robberies reported Thursday so you can see for yourself. Nine of the random people targeted within an hour time span. We're told all of the robberies are connected, all involving four to five guys wearing hoodies and masks and guns. A group that's moving fast, with eight armed robberies reported Tuesday from South Cornell just before 10 to West 23rd place just before midnight. So this is the same group of people. They just... <laughs> this is like stuff you would see in a movie. Like literally. Like heat. Like this is this is crazy. Like we're talking about 1055. 1108. 1110. 1115. 1147. 1150. 1142. I mean. Back to back to back. And I get it. Like they take the people's cell phones. They take everything from the person. The person can't like just call 911 a lot of times. But jeez, Louise, this is terrorism. These people who are doing it, we're being told, are the victims of everything. System, attic, systems, institutions, unconscious bias, microaggressions. So, like, you got to understand. Like glacier gliders, like if you shift, if you if you say you're a glacier glider woman and you shift your purse from one side to the next, well, that's a that's a microaggression. It's 
If you're a glacier glider man and you, you know, bloop your car, like like you get out your car and you bloop and lock your door, choo, and it happens to be a sun man in the vicinity, that's a microaggression. You did that. You victimized that guy. But yet this, this is normal. There'll be, you, you, I could get an interview with Gail King if a Glacier Glider woman clutched her purse on the elevator while I was on there. I could get her fired from her job. I could go on a, I could get a GoFundMe, go on a worldwide sympathy tour. And talk about, cry and talk about how hard it is in America. If a glacier glider male cuts in front of me in line at the McDonald's. I could turn that into. I get a. I, I would have a blue check within six months. I guarantee you. If I played my cards right, and I videotaped it, and posted it to my Facebook. Look how this glacier glider man just microaggressed me. This is what I be talking about. They don't see us. All we want is to be seen. You just don't know how it is when people just don't see you. Well, I'm sure these people in Chicago wish that they, they were invisible. Jeez. Eight armed robberies reported Tuesday from South Cornell just before 10 to West 23rd place just before midnight. They stop the vehicle right next to you and they open the door and jump out of the vehicle so fast you can't even react. See in a bit. Thank you, Danielle. The crime truck tonight. Frightening video of a gunman in both East and West Nashville checking cars and even a home's door. Stephanie Langston spoke with one of the homeowners who is angry, saying that Metro Police aren't doing anything. It's terrifying. The video from 1 o'clock Thursday morning on Kirkland Avenue in East Nashville shows the masked suspect armed and with an extended magazine rummaging through Jeremy Ellis's car and attempting to get inside his home with an accomplice close by. If this guy comes back tonight, I'm going to have to be ready to shoot him. That's insane and the police won't even respond. Well, my friend, that statement right there was borderline racist. In this climate, that was borderline racist, what he just said. What do you mean you have to be prepared to shoot him? Why do you have to do... If he was a white team, you wouldn't be thinking like that. You would just let him come in and hold you at gunpoint and take all your stuff. You're only talking about shooting him because he's a Sun team. That's, that's the world y'all have created. Now live in it. And oh, the police won't do anything in Nashville? Did you see what you guys did last year? All of last year from May 26th till maybe a few months ago? What you guys were doing in Nashville to your police department? I don't remember seeing you jumping up. Hey, wait a second. This is a bridge too far. Yeah, what happened to Floyd was the worst thing ever in the history of mankind, but this is a bridge too far. Nothing. This is what happens. These guys have been, this is what they do. Rummaging through Jeremy Ellis's car and attempting to get inside his home with an accomplice close by. If this guy comes back tonight, 
I'm going to have to be ready to shoot him. That's insane, and the police won't even respond. Ellis says they went straight to the East Police Precinct with the video, hoping to speak with an investigator. Instead, he says they responded with... Uh, maybe a detective will get to you in, within two days. Infuriating for Ellis, who doesn't feel safe in his home. He's since discovered what appears to be the same guy casing his house just two days earlier. This shook me up, but the lack of police response is going to drive me out of this town, period. And you guys defunding the police and be smirching the police and forcing the police to have the blue flu and retire and quit where all these police forces are depleted, not only in resources and funds, but in manpower. And they can't even run up on these guys because if one of these guys breaks a fingernail, you're going to be protesting. All that made a bunch of other people leave the city. Don't leave the city now. S stick it out. Stick it out. Don't be a quitter. Nashville's a great city. Stick it out. This shook me up. But the lack of police response is going to drive me out of this town, period. That video, terrifying for Jeremy Ellis, who's lived in this neighborhood for eight years, but now is planning to move. It's like this primal, either I leave, which I'm going to, but for right now, I can't just leave tomorrow. Um, so while I'm here, uh, I'm on edge. Also on edge, another homeowner across town in West Nashville. After capturing what appears to be the same armed man attempting to get inside her car, she said, as police also told her it would be a few days before a detective would get to it. Frankly, what do you do if the police aren't going to do anything? I mean, it's like, I feel like I'm living in Fallujah here. Like, what are we doing? So I'm going to have to shoot somebody? Like, that's what this is coming to? Reporting out of East Nashville, Stephanie Langston, News 2. Ellis adds this is the fifth time in six months someone has gone through his car. Now, Stephanie reached out to Metro Police, who say, unfortunately, it takes time to get reports into the system and assigned to a detective unless it's a life-threatening emergency. The fifth time in six months he's caught somebody. I don't feel sorry for him. I, 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 the audacity that this guy gets to leave the city now. He gets to just go now. And I'm tired of y'all in the comment section almost, you don't know if these people are liberals. You're just calling them liberals. This guy's a liberal. He's a white person in Nashville. And if he's a, a if he's a conservative, it's not my job to divine what these people inwardly think. Their public persona on Facebook, Twitter, their talking points. Anybody in these cities, in these democratically run cities, if you're white, you're publicly a liberal. Publicly. Your public persona is that of a bleeding heart liberal. If inwardly you're like, yeah, you know, when, when you close the drapes at the ballot box, you're voting for Trump. Or if inwardly you're like, man, this, man, this crap, man, I'm done. Lock all of them up. All the criminals. Lock all the criminals up and throw away the key. If you're like, I, I don't have the time to, people don't have time to, to divine that. We go by what you give us. These people give us liberal, 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 bleeding heart, save the whales. Hug the trees. He didn't do nothing. You a racist if you think he did something. All day long. So yes, this guy's a liberal. I don't have to be... I don't have to go through his entire Twitter account to tell he's a liberal. You can tell it. It's obvious.